I think it's a really exciting time to think about immunotherapeutic strategies in myeloma. And in addition to cell therapies, we have other approaches. In the context of cell therapies, I'm just going to mention, you know, we have allocar T cells now. They're in clinical trials. So that's a huge advance. And just taking a step back away from cellular therapies, we have other approaches, immune approaches targeting the same protein, which is BCMA. And we we have um, Belantamab mafodotin, which was recently approved by the FDA based on the DREAM trials. And this is a conjugated drug product monoclonal antibody uh, against BCMA. It uses uh, mafodotin or statin as its uh, drug conjugate uh, toxin. And again, really... Uh, the response rates were about 30%, but translating into a PFS uh, benefit of two and a half, three uh, months. Now, the benefit of this is obviously it's an off the shelf, so a lot easier than cell therapies. And this is something we're going to have to figure out how in the future we're going to uh, incorporate all of these strategies, specifically when we're targeting the same antigen, which is BCMA. Other really interesting data which was presented was with certain bispecific T-cell engagers, and specifically two of them were presented. One is from Janssen to Clistamab. And again, once you get to the dose levels, wherein uh, this was the recommended phase two dose level of teclistamab, we're seeing very, very high response rates uh, with minimal residual disease negative state as well. So really remarkable data with uh, bispecific T-cell engagers. Similarly, there is another uh, one from BMS, again, showing very high response rates. The important thing to remember here is the toxicity are very similar to what you see with CAR T cells. So you will see CRS, you will see neurotoxicity, and these patients, at least with their first dose, need hospitalization. And the other sort of, despite the fact that these are off the shelf, the other thing to um, keep in the back of your minds is the fact that these have to, as of right now, we're giving them continuously. So on a weekly schedule, every other week and so on and so forth. Um, so I think the future is really exciting with all of these approaches. And I think the challenge for all of us is to see how we can incorporate all of these strategies in sort of a combination approach and how can we best take care of our myeloma patients and ensure that they have a really long and durable uh, remission with all of these strategies.